everybody and welcome to a new weekly reading vlog. So last week I picked a prompt out of my little prompt bag that I have for the read until you drop a thon, read a thon. Um, I have all of the prompts in there and I picked one last week that I was going to read for that week and I didn't finish that book. So I picked um, a prompt that I used for Winter by Merce Meyer. This is a reread for me. I just felt like rereading one of the books in the series because I love it so much. So I decided to reread this. So I'm up to like part three or book three in this book, which is page 340 something. So I'm almost halfway, sort of, and I'm planning on finishing it this week. It definitely is a quick read because it's a reread and I just love these characters and this world so much. And I also have the audiobook for it as well. So I've been listening to the audiobook and reading along physically, which has been very helpful. So I definitely think I will be finishing it this week. And then after this, I will pick another prompt for my next read. But yeah, I just wanted to intro this vlog, say hello, welcome you to another reading vlog. Um, and yeah, that's really it. That's all I wanted to say. So I will see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> friends it is now Tuesday and I wanted to give a little bit of a reading update I probably should get the book that might be helpful <laughs> so I got I think a little past the halfway point last night I'm on page 418 and I think there's like just over 820 pages so I'm like halfway through and again enjoying it it's a reread um, it's one of my favorite series so I'm definitely enjoying it so far but it's doing this weird thing because I've been listening to audiobook while reading it and the audiobook is not like a hundred percent accurate like it's doing this weird thing where certain lines will like mean the same thing as what it's written in as the book but it's a different line in the audiobook than what's written down and like I said it means the same thing but it's not said the same that it is in the book and then also it's just gotten a couple of times like the characters wrong there's been a couple of times where I've been reading it and a character has said something but in the audiobook it says that another character said it and one of the times it wasn't that big of a deal because both characters were like in that scene but there was one time where it said a character that wasn't even with these characters and it's just really weird so I don't really want to just listen to the audiobook while I do what I need to get done today because I'm actually planning on doing my September journal with me it is a bit early but I typically do my spreads for the next month kind of at the halfway point in the month before so that I have time to film it and get it ready and then also get it up before that next month starts um, but I was gonna listen to the audiobook while I did it but I also like want to actually read the story and have it not be incorrect so we'll see I might listen to it a little bit but I probably will just like listen to music or watch YouTube videos while I journal but yeah I have quite the setup in front of me right now because I have a lot of things I'm going to be trying to use and trying to do in this spread so got a lot of supplies <laughs> but yeah it's warm I didn't realize it was so warm out like we don't have our AC on so I didn't think it was that warm out but I just turned my fan off to film this clip and it's very warm oh it's 79 degrees that's a little warm yeah that's probably why I'm sweating so yeah I'm gonna go and film this journal with me video and I also have to caption a video later so hopefully this week's reading vlog is not me just doing a bunch of editing um I promise it won't be I promise I won't just keep telling you all the different videos and things that I have to do hopefully I can get some reading done and hopefully some exciting things happen this week well, exciting for me because my vlogs are never exciting. But yeah, I just wanted to check in, say hello, happy Tuesday, and I'm going to go and do this journal with me video. So it's now 2.30, a little after 2.30, and I like just finished doing my September journal spreads. I think I started that at like quarter past 12 this afternoon, so it took me like a little over two hours to do that, so... It's fun actually it is fun I do really enjoy it and obviously like certain times it doesn't take me that long sometimes it's taken me even longer to do spreads for my journal but my spreads in August took like less than an hour to do all of them because uh, they were very simple and very minimal for me so they didn't take as long whereas this month it took me a bit longer and sometimes that's fun sometimes you want to do ones that are a bit more creative a bit more detailed and things like that but I am really happy with how my September spreads turned out so that's good glad I spent that much time and ended up liking them because it's really annoying when you spend that much time doing spreads and then you don't end up liking them it's not fun but I did really like them so stay tuned for my September journal with me video I don't know if that'll be up by the time you see this because I don't know what my uploading schedule is I like have video ideas for the rest of the month but I haven't filmed really any of them so who knows what you'll be seeing but it'll be up soon. 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna chill out for a little bit, but I do need to caption that video that I was talking about earlier, so I need to do that at some point this evening because that video is going up tomorrow. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update, so that's what's happening. I'm gonna go relax, maybe caption that video, um, but I will check in with you guys in a little bit. So it is now Thursday, and I am currently in the process of filming a video. Um, I think I'm going to film a couple of videos today. And what's funny is you can't see, but I'm wearing a romper right now. So it's like, it has the shorts on the bottom, but I'm wearing like my biker comfy shorts <laughs> underneath of it. That's just the way it is when you film a YouTube video. But I like the top part, so I wanted to be cute on the top. <laughs> so yeah, my plan for today is to film some videos, do some video stuff, and that's really it. Um, I probably will read a little bit later on. I did read a little bit the past couple of days. I think I'm on page like 530 something, so we're getting there. Definitely want to try and finish this coming week. But in other exciting news, uh, BTS is coming out with a new song tonight and a music video. So you should go and listen to it and watch it. <laughs> and don't even worry about it. The whole song is in English, so there you go. You're welcome. BTS, hire me for your promo team. <laughs> so I'm probably going to stay up until like midnight tonight to listen to that. So losing sleep over BTS part a million. Can't wait. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to say hello while I had makeup on because this is a rare occurrence. Um, just say hello, check in. Um, I'll probably do a better check in later on. I want to just start getting filming. So yeah, I just wanted to say hello and happy Thursday. <laughs> I keep doing Stranger Things themed videos. That's why I keep wearing this shirt. <laughs> so I have finished filming and I thought I would give you a reading update. Excuse the mess on the bed. We're pretending we do not see it. So I am up to page three. Nope. Reading is hard. I'm up to page 536. So I think I said that earlier that I was kind of in that area. So I have like 300 pages left, a little under 300 pages left actually. So I'm going to try and get this done this weekend. That is the goal. It's Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. So I think I'll be able to do it unless I just watch the BTS music video on loop forever, which is possible. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of my reading update. I don't really know what else to say when I talk about this book because like it's one of my favorite books. So I don't know what else to say other than I love it and it's a reread. So I don't feel like I have that much to say. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying earlier, there is a BTS song and music video coming out tonight. So I gotta start mentally preparing for that. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to check in. I think I'm gonna go and have some lunch. It's almost 1.30, so it's time. I'm hungry, filming's done. Film two videos, so that's good. Anytime I put makeup on to film, I'm like, I need to film at least two videos. We need to get the most out of my face being presentable. <laughs> but yeah, filming is done now, so I'm gonna go and have some lunch and relax. It's actually like pretty nice out outside, so I might go and sit outside for a little bit. It's 77 out, the feels like temperature is. 77 so that is pretty nice so I might go and sit outside for a little bit maybe but yeah I just wanted to check in say hello um, I'm gonna go and have some lunch now because I'm very hungry <laughs> I got some things in the mail so I thought I would share so I got two more folklore CDs <laughs> these were the ones that I ordered the day the album was announced so these were the original two that I got then I ordered one from Target which came like last week and then I got one for my birthday for my sister and I'm getting another one from my sister that was a birthday gift it just hadn't come in the mail yet so these are CDs three and four of five <laughs> it also came with this little like confetti in it so that's that's cute and then I got this letter that I'm showing back because addresses you know don't want to share those but also there's this stamp on it too and that's so cute I love it I think I need to take a picture before I open it cute Why am I starting to cry? <laughs> am I right? So this is from Armin, and I will have Armin's channel linked below, but I'm emotional. This was so sweet. <laughs> I can't receive letters like this. I'm too fragile for this. Uh, thank you, Armin, for sending me this. This was so sweet and so thoughtful. Um, and thank you for the gift as well. Um, Armin sent me a book for my birthday off of my wish list, so that was really sweet as well. But yeah, I'm emotional. <laughs> I can't believe I just started crying. Anyway, um, I think we all have established that I'm sensitive. 
by now. But yeah, I just wanted to share those little things. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to get videos from my SD card onto my new laptop. So that's been fun, but I think I figured out a way. It wasn't working at first, but it's working now. So we got it. Um, so I'm going to go back to editing and doing that type of stuff. Um, but I wanted a little break to open those things. And I'm so excited because that letter was so sweet. <laughs> so now I'm fragile, but I guess I'll just edit through my tears. <laughs> Hello, happy Friday. Um, as expected, I'm here to yell about BTS. <laughs> First, I will give a bit of a reading update before we get into me freaking out. So I tried to read a little bit of Winter before the video premiere for the BTS music video because I hadn't read at all yesterday up until like 10 p.m. So I was like, you know what? I have some time. Why don't I read? I think I read like maybe 15 pages. <laughs> I'm actually on page 550 exactly. So making my way through this very slowly. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get through this this weekend. I think I'll be able to do it um, if BTS don't distract me too much. <laughs> but speaking of BTS, Dynamite, hello. She is everything. <laughs> While I was watching this video, I had to like be somewhat quiet because uh, it was midnight when it came out my time and my mom was literally sleeping like right next door. So didn't want to be waking her up by screaming. <laughs> but it was so good it's such a like happy and upbeat song like i don't know how you could listen to it and not like smile at all i know that i'm biased because i love bts but i would highly recommend listening to the song watching the music video i'll even link the music video in the description i'll make it easy for you <laughs> but it's just so good and they also uh the song is completely in english so if you're someone who doesn't get it because you know you can't understand there you go. It's in English. You'll be able to understand. <laughs> but it's just, it's so good. And I love it so much. And I'm obsessed. And I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> and then at the same time that the music video came out, Taylor Swift decided to also do something, which is just really rude of them. Can they coordinate to not do things at the same time for my, like, health? <laughs> but what Taylor Swift is doing is she's, like, grouping together um, certain songs from folklore and kind of creating a story with them because certain songs on the album kind of have these similar themes. So this first one that she released is the Escapism chapter, I think. And The Lakes, Seven, Epiphany, Cardigan, Mirrorball, and Exile are on there. And I think that that's really interesting. I think because all of those songs kind of talk about escape in some way, um, whether that's like mentally, physically, wanting to leave, wanting to have a change of scenery, wanting to go somewhere, just kind of talking about leaving or going somewhere else. So that's really interesting. I haven't actually listened to the songs in the order that she put them in, but I'm going to do that. I just need to get over dynamite first. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a very uh, overwhelming 12, 13 hours over here with my favorite people doing things at the same time. <laughs> so BTS and Taylor Swift, can we coordinate to not do things at the same time? just to spare my emotions, um, unless it's the collab, then you can do things at the same time. <laughs> Me manifesting the Taylor Swift and BTS collabs every day of my life, it's fine. But yeah, I just wanted to yell about BTS and Taylor Swift, as I do every time I pick up a camera. But yes, go and do yourself a favor, stream Dynamite, watch the music video, fall in love with Kim Taehyung, I don't, you know, it's just what you gotta do. Okay, that's it, that's the update. <laughs>
So it is now Sunday and I just wanted to quickly check in. Me and my mom are actually going to be going out today. Um, we have some errands to run and we're also going to be checking in on a friend's kittens. Uh, they're away for the weekend so we volunteered to go and check in on them and we went yesterday. They were so cute and so small. <laughs> so I think we're going to go and check on them and then we might be going to the grocery store and then I think Barnes and Noble afterwards. So I might be buying books today even though I shouldn't. I probably will. <laughs> but speaking of books, I thought I would give a little update. I don't actually know when the last time I updated you guys was, but I'm on page 649, chapter 77. So I'm very close to finishing. I think I have like just under 200 pages left. So we're getting there. I definitely think that I could finish this tonight once we get home and we're done with our errands and everything. So yeah, that is the update. Those are my plans for today. Uh, hopefully I can finish winter by the end of this vlog. I'm really cutting it close, but I really wanted to do it so I could start a new book next week. So we'll try. But yeah, those are the plans. Um, maybe I'll film something while I'm in Barnes & Noble. Maybe not. Maybe I'll buy something when I'm at Barnes & Noble. Probably. <laughs> Hello, it is now Monday of the next week, so I just wanted to quickly wrap up this vlog. There's also a spider on my ceiling, so if I keep looking up, it's because I'm making sure that it hasn't moved. <laughs> I don't know how a five foot four human is supposed to get a spider on a ceiling. I have one of those little handheld vacuums, so I might be able to get it that way, but I'm what if I miss? What if it falls? What if it lands on me? So many things could go wrong with that, so I don't know, but I'm going to be stressed about it all day if it just stays there. There was another spider in my room yesterday. It was like on the ceiling over there and like at the top of the walls, and I couldn't reach it, but like I was also trying to hype myself up to kill it somehow, but then I just had my mom kill it because I needed help. But now there's another one. Can the spiders leave me alone? I don't. This room is my room, not the spider room. Why are they all here? <laughs> but anyway, moving on from the spiders, uh, I finished winter last night and I had like 200 or so pages, a little under that, left last night. So I just figured I'd finish it. It took me like two hours to complete it and I was very emotional. <laughs> the first time I read this book, I ended up crying like when I read the last page and I had like completed it and I was just crying because it was over. And last night that happened again. I was crying because it ended again, but then I also was just crying like the last like 50 or so pages because all the characters coming together and just everything that was happening, I just was emotional. But yeah, I gave this five stars. Who's surprised? <laughs> but as you guys had seen, I went to Barnes & Noble yesterday. So I ended up picking up Vicious Spirits by Kat Cho. And this is the sequel or the companion to Wicked Fox, which makes me feel better about this existing because I read Wicked Fox like at the beginning of the month this month and I wasn't quite sure what they were going to do with the sequel. I felt like Wicked Fox kind of wrapped everything up. Like there were some like hints of things that could be unanswered so that a sequel could exist but for the most part I felt like everything sort of wrapped up so I wasn't quite sure what was this was going to be but then after finishing Wicked Fox I actually found out that this was a companion novel and more so than a sequel so I do feel a little bit better I feel like that makes a little bit more sense with how Wicked Fox ended so I think we're following like the friends and like some of the side characters from the first book so I'm very excited to get into this soon hopefully I want to read it before like Wicked Fox and all the details from that book like leave my brain and then my mom ended up getting me something I didn't even realize she had it in her hands until we like left the store but she loves buying stationery and we all know I love stationery so we just kind of enable each other and she got me this sticker book so it says it has over 2,000 it has 2,500 stickers and they're actually really cute I feel like sometimes sticker books can just be really cheesy stickers and like not ones that I would ever use but there's actually a lot of really cute ones in here the last page is actually a bunch of books so like that's very on brand but there's a bunch of cute stickers in here there's like, plants and coffee cups and little like drinks and stuff there's also these cat ones which i'm just i love them they're like pastel cats which is like 
everything I could ever want. So I'm very excited to have these. I didn't know my mom was getting me these until we were like leaving the store. I didn't see them in her hand at all. My mom just really enjoys buying people like little gifts and things like that and like surprising us when we're like leaving the store because we never notice. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that is everything for this vlog. I finally finished winter, only took me two weeks. But you know what? It was such a fun experience rereading that book. So I'm not even mad that it took me that long. And also two weeks really isn't that long. I think I'm just like in the mindset of someone who makes videos about books. I'm like, if I'm not reading a book a day, I'm failing. <laughs> but that is so not the case. You don't have to read things that fast. But I just kind of went on my own pace and enjoyed the book. And I had a really good time reading it. And now I just want to like go back and reread the whole series again. Um, I also might reread the graphic novels, honestly, because I'm just like in my Lunar Chronicles feels right now. I mean, I always am, but rereading the books in the series just, you know, elevates it to a whole new level. <laughs> but now I'm just babbling, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!